it's Ashley here for my January update. I hope everyone had a great holiday season and oh, I have the hiccups. A great holiday season, a great new year. I had intended to do like a really big end of 2016, start of 2017 video going over all the projects I worked on. What I had planned to work on in 2017, I got really sick right at New Year's. And so I was sick for like a week and a half. I was miserable. I thought I had the flu. It was not good. So uh, in lieu of that, I'm going to insert a quick little quick clip here of everything I worked on in 2016. more information on those you'll have to go back to those to my older videos or go to my Instagram I post a lot on my Instagram um, my Instagram is Rhapsody Lime R-H-A-P-S-O-D-Y-L-I-M-E um, and I post daily 2017 plans is I'm not doing any craft swaps at all um, I say not at all but I've already been tempted twice Thankfully, one of them I didn't see sign ups. I didn't see until sign ups were over. But I'm trying not to do any craft swaps because I feel like everything I did last year was for a craft swap and I don't have anything to show for it. So, no more craft swaps. 2017 is going to be all about stitching for myself, what I want to stitch on, um, a few things for friends. Other than that, no. Um, finishes so far, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of the one thing I finished in January here. And this is a pattern by Urban Threads. Uh, this is for the adult only Disney swap. Um, so my partner liked kind of the tattooed princesses. So I did this one. It's obviously not Ariel, but I made her Ariel. And then um, I thought the quote would be cute. Um, she one of her favorite songs is part of your part of your world. Yes. And um, so that's a line wouldn't you think my collection's complete um and i thought it suited you know her tattoo collection whatever um to make that i used this from sulky sticky fabric solvy you can print on it put it in the printer it actually stick like it's adhesive hence the sticky um just stick it on your fabric put it in a hoop or a frame stitch on it and that one dissolves a whole lot better then one I no longer have because I threw it out. Um, so, other than that, my 2017 plans, I don't have a lot of starts planned from here on out. I did start a bunch already. And then um, I want to get as much of my whips done as possible. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do haul first because I don't have a lot. I can get through that quickly and then we can go into whips, get those done. And this doesn't have to be an hour long video like the first time I recorded it. Um, so we'll get into haul first. My One of my hauls I'm not going to show you until I show you my whips because I've already started it. First things first, from for Christmas, my mom... I had sent her a couple of links to things I want to three stitch that I wanted and I had originally just asked for this pattern but she called me and she's like how do I work this website and so I talked her through adding everything that was needed to her cart I told her not to get the fabric it was on back order and I want to pick it in. anyway it's Mirabilia Venetian Opulence I love this one and then all of the threads minus the whisper because at that point one two three stitch wasn't carrying rainbow gallery they are now yay um, and so, I also, I forgot to tell her to take the Krennic out of her cart because I'm going to use Petite Treasure Green. Oh, there's that one. I like this one. I don't know what color I'll stitch her on. I did pick up the Whisper. I was at my LNS last week. I picked up the one Whisper that's needed. Uh, other haul, a friend of mine, 
um, Jess. She was my not so secret uh, Tara C on YouTube. Uh, she was my not so secret Santa partner last year. She sent me a couple things for Christmas this year, and of course I feel horrible because I didn't send her anything, but I did make one thing I'll show you real fast, and then I have another thing planned. She sent me this hoop. A little embroidery. A little girl with a balloon. Cute. And I love the way she did this hoop, so I copied it to do my hoop. And this fabric matches... Um, a needle keeper she sent me last year. So that's cute. She also sent me this box that her husband made. I haven't put anything in it yet. This matching fabric. It's really nice. Um, it's beautiful. So it's up here on my shelf with my knickknacks. Uh, other haul. While I was at my LNS, while Amanda was here, she got me this. Uh, Garden Muses Mirabilia. And. Oh, the. One other piece of haul I have is from another friend of mine named Jess. Uh, I'm one of those people who thought 2016 was a really shit year, and so she sent me this little cross stitch she made. Fuck 2016. Because. Fuck 2016. Uh, I have it over on my desk most of the time. So that's my haul. Sorry if I seem like I'm rushing. I've already recorded this video once. It was really long. I went into a total rant mode and I don't need to go there again. So the faster I talk, the faster I get through it, the more I can't rant. Uh, let's go ahead and get into my whips. If you see me looking to the side over here, um, I have my laptop with my projects and my fabric choices on it. Uh, I'm gonna try to go oldest to newest. It might not happen. It kind of depends on how I grab them. Oh, that's where that is. Sorry, I... My needle minder fell off the back and I couldn't find the backing. Okay. First one is um, my Heaven and Earth. It's my oldest whip. And this is Heaven and Earth Mini Blue Dragon uh, by Kaomi Harari. Here is a picture of the artwork. And this is where I am. Last time you saw him, none of this was done. And I finished two columns over here that were had been started to work the park threads. Amanda, in my last video, challenged me in 2017 to work on a Heaven and Earth design for seven days every month. And I accomplished that in January. So there he is. My plan is to finish this get to this side and move the Q-snap because I don't like to think, take things off of Q-snaps. It's a bother. So I have a lot of them and I need more. Oh, this is an 18 count Ada, I think by DMC. Just something I picked up at Joanne's. My next oldest whip is my Northern Expression Needleworks Twisted Rainbow Sampler. Here's a picture of the completed design. This is stitched on a 32 count linen in pearl gray. And here it is. I'm really close to being done. Probably doesn't seem like it. But last time you saw it, I'm pretty sure I was on this specialty stitch band on the dark green. And so this month, mostly this month, I have finished up to this band here, but I'm kind of burnt out on it um, as of last night. So. I'm going to put it away, but excitingly, this band here is the bottom. The very bottom of this band here. This is the bottom corner. So about this amount of space, so the bands will start getting shorter. And there's five of them left. So hopefully this will be done soon. Maybe next month. Oh, sorry, this month. I forget it's February 1st. I meant to record yesterday. Um, so hopefully, maybe this month I'll pick it back up later on and get it finished. Did I say the fabric? 32 count. Pearl gray. And next up is going to be my Lizzie Kate piece. This was from the round robin I did. This is Lizzie Kate living with charm. Here's the fold sign.
and this is stitched on 32 count linen natural opal so dream love remember give listen learn believe care encourage and then i'm on create i started at the encourage the rest of them were all done by the ladies in the round in the rock um in the round and i love this fabric it's beautiful and i um, i like it i'll be using it again on something else eventually Next up, Frosted Pumpkin Storytime. This hasn't changed at all since the last time you saw it. Storytime Sampler, stitched on 32 count, Lugana and Storm from Picture This Plus. Nothing's changed. This is the project that um, I was doing a stitch along with Amanda with, and I gave up in May when things got really busy. I got behind. She's up to, I think, July or August, so I'll pick it back up in May, and she'll pick it back up whenever she's stitched up to, and then we'll finish out the year together. Next up is um, a moment, I think it's called a moment in chalk, by Hands On Design. This is 32 count gunmetal linen. I think the only thing that's changed on this since you last saw it is the E in moment. Uh, my problem with this one is that I'm tired of working on the white and I didn't grid this so I have to do a lot of counting to get to something that's not white and I don't want to risk it right now. I might go back and grid this once I have a frame free that I can put this on because right now I don't have an empty frame because I don't take things off frames. Uh, next up is Glendon Place Tiramisu. Uh, here's a picture of it. This is stitched on 32 count picture this plus Lugana in Mesa. The only thing that's changed on this one is last time you saw it I had the circle done and I did put it in this part here. Um, this, it only got worked on for a day because I got aggravated at myself because when I originally started working on it and picked it back up again, I had it sideways. So I stitched this part. Well, I guess no. I think I did it this way. So I stitched this part over here. Stupid mistake. Had to pull it out and fix it. So I didn't want to work on it anymore. Um, this one will get more time after I finish Twisted Rainbow because this, they both have dinky dye silks. And so I will pick this one back up once my other dinky dyes project is gone. Next up, in the order that I started them, except for the exception of my last one, um, is Mirabilia Dressmaker's Daughter. Here's a picture of it. And this is on 32 count picture this plus Lugana in gingerbread and I've, I've done like 60 stitches. I didn't do much on it. I don't like the way I have it framed. I want to get it on a different frame and I'm really going to wait until I have Twisted Rainbow's frame so I can put this on that. And my other problem with it is, is I, my plan is to finish each season within its seasonal time frame but my problem with winter is that the, the background of winter is all one color and I don't I don't want to get bored and so I I don't really want to work on it yet because I know that I'm going to get bored and I'm not going to like it but I will do it because I love this project uh, I love that it's one of the Mirabilia's that isn't just a lady I feel like so many of them are just ladies and so this one doesn't have a lady in it at all it's technically not a lady. It's just the dresses, so that's why I like that one. Next up is Blackwork Hummingbird by, I think it's a J-Side Designs. Here's a picture of it. And here's where I am. This is for my boyfriend. He likes birds, hummingbirds. And this is stitched on 28 counts linen. It's the DMC Carolina linen in sand. I really like this. I think this is a great neutral. And every Joann's I go to carries this. 
um, it's even, unlike the, I think it's MCG textiles, everybody complains that it's not actually even weave. This is even, it doesn't have a lot of slubs, it's a nice natural color. So if you're looking for like a cheap, nice neutral linen, go with this one. I think it's gorgeous. I've used it, this is the second project I've used, no, I guess this is technically the third project I've used it on because I did it on the Downton Abbey I made. The original project I had for the adult Disney swap, which I threw away because it drove me crazy, was being stitched on this and then now this one. And I have another piece for two more projects. So I love this one. I wanted to, I started this project because after I did the aerial embroidery piece, I wanted something that wasn't just cross stitch to kind of break up my time. So once the cross stitch is done on the hummingbird, I can just work on the black work when I need a break from cross stitching. And my last piece. I'm really excited about this one. I love this piece. This is a gift from Amanda. She ordered this for me the day it was released. I, I, I'm pretty sure she, the day it was released, she ordered me the pattern in the bead pack and the Krennic that I didn't wind up using. But I'm pretty sure right away she did that. Anyway, this is Portrait of Veronica by Mirabilia. Here's a picture of the completed piece. And here's where I am in her. Don't you just love her? She's sassy. She has resting bitch face like nobody's business. She doesn't care about you. She doesn't care about your opinion. She just doesn't give a crap. Love her. And this is stitched on 32 count linen by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie in Slate. And um, this is one of the fabrics that I got at the, this is the fabric I got at uh, Nashville Needle Market last year. And it was big enough I got to cut it in half, so I have another equal piece to this one. I did make two changes. The metallic in her chair, the gold, was supposed to be that DMC It's supposed to be this one, which I don't know if you can tell is already fraying on the spool. This is crap. So I substituted it for a petite treasure braid in PBO3. Just worked just as well. The other change I made is in her skirt. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. These designs here have metallic in them. And it was supposed to be this like black silvery color. And I hated working with this. I don't like Krennic. Let's just face it. I don't like working with Krennic. And so I pulled, I did 10 stitches, pulled them out and put this project away until I could get Petite Treasure Braid at my LNS. They had, they do, Rainbow Gallery does, hi monster. Rainbow Gallery does make, um, a petite treasure braid, multiples of them that are probably very similar to that, but my LNS didn't have them. But I did find this teal color, like black and teal. It shows up really good on the card, but I, I feel like in my stitching, it's harder to, for the teal to come through. And I actually think it's, it's I think it's called blue too. It's PB63. Um, I don't know how much it'll come through in the viewfinder, the teal. I find that in natural light, the teal comes through, but under my bright um, work light, it just looks like black with silver in it. So I guess it's closer to the color it was supposed to be. But I really liked the teal, considering how much teal she has in her dress. I just, I thought it was pretty. So I'm going to be picking this project back up as soon as I'm done with this video and editing it and getting it uploaded because I, she's calling to me again. I burned myself out on her. I worked on her basically the whole month and then I got burned out. Oh, um, while I was working on her, I got really into Instagram stories, which is, it's a lot like Snapchat, but I don't use Snapchat. Um, just a quick photo and I saved all of them and I wound up making 
like um, slideshows every day of my progress so far. So the most recent one I have is working through her skirt, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that here. to see her progress and it was amazing on especially on her face like the difference the back stitching made I'm gonna actually insert I'm gonna insert I'm gonna try to do it side by side of the difference between before her back stitch and after her back stitch the difference like she was it just she came to life after that point after I did her back stitching in her face she came to life and that's a lot of people on Instagram are sending me messages and commenting like she like it just comes to life when you do the back stitching and so I really I'm, I'm really happy with her so I'm gonna pick her back up tonight she has this huge bustle I think on the fabric it'll come out to like here and down and it actually even comes up through here um, but I love her. Um, so I don't have a lot of plans for 2017 new starts. Um, I do have two small projects. They're like a hundred by a hundred, um, that I want to do for two separate friends of mine, but I don't want to show them because they will see them. They watch my videos, so I don't want them to see. And then I do have one other project, which is the Clouds Factory Stitch Along This Year, Woman in History. I got all of the threads. I haven't started it yet. They just released the second two today. They're actually doing two a month, two ladies a month, so they'll be 24 instead of just 12, which I think is awesome. And um, the fabric, I had a very similar fabric to the one that's called for in my stash. I'll try to put a picture of them side by side um, up on the screen. Um, but this is, they wanted, the called for is Picture This Plus Whimsy, and this is hand-dyed um, fabrics by Stephanie in Tempest. And it was really similar. So I have the fabric, I have the threads, I just haven't started it yet. Uh, other than that, my plans for 2017 are to finally get on schedule with these videos. I had intended, I think I said that back in October or September, I was going to try to record every month. And I had intended to. I mean, I recorded in November, technically. Um, but I got so sick at the end of December, and I just... I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to stitch. I actually... I couldn't... For a couple days there, I couldn't get out of bed. So, say la vie. Um, shit happens. So, I don't have anything else to show you. Oh, no, I do have something else to show you. Uh, it's not really stitching related. I guess it is because I hand stitched them. I got into making hexes two weeks ago. And so I made a sew together bag. And the outside is hexes that I did. And then the inside is all the fabric from the hexes. If you haven't seen these bags, they're pretty awesome. And so they have you know, three zippered compartments, and then obviously the spaces between the compartments are little spaces too. My only tip is if you're gonna, if you're gonna make one of these, don't do your own biting. Hey guys, so I was just in the middle of recording my video and my camera died. So I was talking about the sew together bag. Um, if you decide to make it, just buy bias tape. Don't try to make your binding. It was a lot easier. But um, I don't want to hold my phone in front of 
here. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope everyone has a great January. I will see you all in February. I'm gonna try to get back on recording schedule. So I'll see you all then and I hope you have a great month and a great Valentine's Day and I'll see you then. Bye! Try to lip gloss, people. Ah! I have a hair in my lip gloss. Anyway, so much for one take. Um, I still have it.